2 Kings chapter 22 and 2 Chronicles 34 and 35. Tell us about one of the few good kings in the history of Israel and Judah. Josiah was a bright flash of obedience. Verse 2 says that he did what was pleasing in the Lord's sight and followed the example of his ancestor David. He did not turn away from doing what was right. The most powerful moment in his story is found in verse 11. When the king heard what was written in the book of the law, he tore his clothes in despair. Hearing God's written word brought to Josiah an awful revelation of just how far his people had drifted away from their faith in God. His despair was not just for his own sin, but for the sins of his ancestors. He wastes no time in taking action. He asks, what, what must we do in response to what is written in this book that has just been found? His repentance led to immediate action. The priest went to consult a prophetess who spoke for the Lord, telling them that disaster would strike the city of Jerusalem and the people because of their wickedness but that it would not happen until Josiah had died and was buried in peace. So, what does Josiah do? Even after hearing this prophecy, he does not sit back in apathy and indifference. No, he rose up as king and renewed the covenant in the presence of the Lord, verse 31. Why would he do this? The answer can be summed up in one word, love. Josiah loved the Lord and loved his people he spent the rest of his life leading revival, restoring the relationship with God and his people and teaching them the way of obedience. Today, we would be wise to follow the example of Josiah. Receive God's word with a soft heart, repent and take immediate action. Grow in your love for the Lord, his church and the people around you. Learn to live God's word and teach others to do the same. Make the very most of the time you've been given and like Josiah, be a bright flash of obedience in a dark world. Why? Because the greatest act of love ever taken was taken on our behalf when our King Jesus Christ went to the cross to take our sins upon himself. We've been set free from sin and given the power of his Holy Spirit to live for him. In keeping with this message of love, I must borrow some of Pastor Randy's thunder and encourage you in this. You are greatly loved. Now go and greatly love.